I am Coach Sess, motivated and determined, and you are listening to Words with a Mad Coach. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from Coach Sess. I hope that everything that you wanted or desired has been attained. And I hope that going into 2018, you're setting new goals for yourself. I don't necessarily mean a New Year's resolution, but just going into the next year with a new mind, a clearer mind, a vision of where you want to end up at the end of the year in terms of your personal attainment in terms of your financial status in terms of your occupation and relationships and friendships i hope to see that you grow 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 if you think about your body the way your your limbs work they work better when moving forward your range of motion when you extend your arms is greater when you extend them forward versus when you try to extend them backwards so if we took a person running forward and another person of equal skill and talent running backward. The person running forward theoretically should always win. The human body is an example of our innate nature and sometimes we go against that nature, we don't pay attention to it, but we are designed to move forward. Go forward, don't worry about the past, don't delve into those demons and beat yourself up because you didn't make all the right choices. That's the key. We are made perfect through our imperfections. We get to see how things were done improperly and then we have the opportunity to correct them. With that being said, I am going to move forward and get to what I know best and talk about what I know best and that is mixed martial arts. So one of the things I want to talk about, um, I want to kind of do a year in recognition in terms of like fighter of the year, KO of the year, team of the year, coach of the year, and things of that nature. And that's going to be next Monday. The main thing that I wanted to really say uh, regarding MMA, if we're going to talk about the winners and the losers of MMA this year, there were no losers. It was all wins on the, on the major scene and on the local scene. We've seen improvements in terms of how you find out about events. We've got um, Coach D with MMA Fight Camp. Uh, Michael Allen, Cornbread, has started a podcast. Jeff Shaw continues to be the, 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 the leader in audio when it comes to the Jiu Jitsu world. You know, when you see things like this, these types of efforts that are being made, they may be minor to you because they're not, you know, it's not XM radio. The, these little signs are great. They're wonderful. They're letting you know that the interest is picking up. And uh, that means the sport has to be growing, has to be improving in order for the interest to be there. And, you know, like I said, we know that uh, we saw a lot of great uh, mixed martial arts on the local scene with Fight Lab, Next Level Fight Club, going into uh, Virginia, Spartaca, South Carolina. We had Warfare and Conflict. You know, they put on several events this year. Uh, if you look at some of the things that they've talked about, their schedules going forward, we've got more to look forward to in 2018. Make sure you go to MMA Fight Camp and you listen to the audio, the interview between Coach D and Andy Hall from Warfare and talking about, you know, the plans, the plans they have for uh, 2018 and, and the new company that they're working with, uh, 864. Make sure you listen to that. It's, it's very important, especially if you're a pro. Very important. If you're a coach and you have a fighter that's considering uh, some type of management, uh, some type of uh, fight deal, some type of progression in his career at this at this stage, I would definitely take a listen to. It's about 30 minutes long, but it's worth the listen. UFC is on target to do another 32 events right now, the way it's scheduled. 
one FC or what used to be one FC, uh, one championships. I think they just announced uh, 24, 25 events for 2018. Bellator did about 25 events this year themselves. So I, I would only expect them to repeat that success. And plus they had their first pay-per-view this year in um, Bellator, New York. Uh, we had them here in North Carolina in a small fashion, but nonetheless, they were here. And, and what you, you know, you got to take these small nuggets and hope, you know, they, they grow into something big. Ryzen is on target to do about 15 events this year, even though they're only stationed out of Japan. The good news is that they're using recognized stars that we know from the past, like King Mo, um, Kazushi Sakuraba, uh, Vandele Silva, uh, Fedor. They're using those names to attract new talent. LFA, man, they. I think they're up to 30 shows. And I think that's in less than a year or right at a year and a half. And that is amazing. You know, they come along very quickly. So, and again, they've been in the North Carolina, South Carolina uh, region on two or three occasions so you know these shows are moving into our areas talent's getting better we've seen guys like uh, Roger Carroll on TV Derek Brunson um, is headlining UFC Charlotte and we've got a lot more recognized names now in the major promotions Ricky Rainey Jordan Rinaldi and then we can't forget about our local champions who've been holding it down and and they put on some outstanding performances this year. DeWan Owens, of course, Keith the Rockstar Richardson, uh, my own Team Rock teammate, uh, Damon Blackshear. You know, just some amazing talent going on this year. And I'm just trying to be a voice pointing you in the right direction, letting you know where to get this stuff from, where to go to see the best action, Fight Lab, Warfare, Conflict, Next Level Fight Club. We've got a uh, new promotion showing up, XFP. That is great. Well, it's really not a new promotion, but they just haven't been around in a while. But it's good. It's another option because right now in North Carolina, we were down to Battle in the South, Next Level, and Fight Lab. And maybe another one would trickle through and do something. But um, I like to see XFP succeed. For those who don't know, uh, at one point we had as many as 12 mixed martial arts promotions um, that were uh, that maybe not originated in the state but they ran two to four shows per year and uh, we haven't had that for quite some time um, since maybe 2014 so now we're seeing the signs of uh, shows potentially growing again in uh, the North Carolina uh, area I am Coach Sess and you've had words with the Mad Coach